So here's the coolest part of the entire section, maybe even the entire chapter. Uh, we're going to get into cryptography, and cryptography is just a message, or a cryptogram is a message written according to a secret code. So back in the olden days, uh, they used a lot of cryptograms. Um, if you've ever seen the movies, uh, the National Treasure movies, they use a lot of cryptograms there where they have uh, messages that are coded, and then they have to use different uh, cryptograms to decipher what is on each code. Um, so what we want to do is we want to figure out um, or what we want to figure out how we can actually create and encode and decode these messages. Uh, if you notice over here on the right, you have the numbers 0 through 26. 1 through 26 represents a letter in the alphabet. Makes sense. 1 is A, 2 is B, and on and on and on. Um, what you can do is you, if you assign a number to each letter, then your message can be converted to numbers partitioned into what we call an un coded row of matrices. So let's look at our example six here. And what we're going to do is we're going to form uncoded row of matrices for dimension one by three. So what that means is we're going to have a lot of one by three matrices, one row, three columns, for landing successful. So if we choose our letters for L, A, N, we need to go by threes here. So our first one by three matrix would end up being a L is 12th letter, A is a first, N is the 14th. Then what we have to do is we have to go through our next three. So we have D, I, N. So D, I, N, that would be a four, nine, and 14. Remember using the rows from up above in your notes, or the uh, code from up above in your notes. Uh, then let's do G space S. Okay, G space S, you have to include the space. So we're going to have a 7, 0, 19. And then we need to move over to UCC. So this would end up being a 21. And then you have two C's, so it's going to be 3 and a three. Make sure you have enough space in between your numbers so you can see what is being uh, included. Next we have ESS. So E is five. SS would be 19, 19. And then finally, we're gonna have FUL. So that is gonna end up being a six, 21, and 12. So that means if you go back through here, you can figure out this is L, A, N, D, I, N. You have G, and then you have a space, and then you have S, U, C, C, E, S, S, F, U, L. And this is nice and handy because whenever we want to encode this message, and what we're going to do is we're going to use an inverse of, or we're going to use an, an invertible matrix, a three by three, and help us find our coded row matrices. This will help us on our next example.